from Phoenix good to have them back making music it's called Alpha Zulu right time to get the headlines on BBC Sounds app on your smart speaker and on 88 to 91 FM BBC News at 8 o'clock this is Harvey Cook Conservative MPs have just finished voting on whether to oust Boris Johnson The result of the ballot on the Prime Minister's leadership is expected in about an hour. Ahead of the vote, Mr Johnson attempted to shore up support by telling a meeting of his MPs that he would lead them to victory again. In the past hour, the Scottish Conservative MP John Lamont has resigned as a ministerial aide to the Foreign Secretary Liz Truss. He's unhappy about lockdown parties at Downing Street. We need a new direction, a new leader and a new style of government. And um, some of the events that have happened in Downing Street I found particularly shocking, sickening. And I know many um, of my constituents in the borders felt, felt the same. So I felt it's appropriate to have, to have change. At least 180 MPs will need to vote against Mr Johnson to trigger a leadership contest. The Foreign Office Minister, James Cleverley, hopes that doesn't happen. The vast bulk of the parliamentary party wants us to move on from this row, wants us to focus on on what we should be focusing on, which is serving the people that elect us, and also the the position that we, we play in the world at an incredibly turbulent time, rather than have a protracted, and it would be, protracted period of introspection. That's not, that's not what the country wants, needs or deserves. The family of a retired British geologist say his 15-year jail term in Iraq for attempting to smuggle antiquities out of the country is tantamount to a death sentence. Jim Fitton, who's 66, was arrested at Baghdad Airport in March with pottery shards in his luggage. His relatives have launched an appeal and claimed the British government didn't do enough to help his case. Ryanair has been accused of discrimination by requiring some South African passengers to complete a test in Afrikaans before being allowed to board flights. The airline said anyone travelling to the... Anyone travelling to the UK from another part of Europe would have to fill in the questionnaire to prove their nationality due to the high prevalence of fraudulent South African passports. Elon Musk has threatened to walk away from a deal to buy Twitter following a disagreement about the number of spam accounts on the platform. The billionaire says the social media company's failure to provide more detail on fake accounts amounted to a clear material breach of the agreement. Archaeologists have found evidence that the Roman occupation of Britain went further than previously thought into the west of Wales. They've uncovered a road in the Priscilla Hills in Pembrokeshire that has features in common with Roman construction. Dr Mark Marley from Oxford University led the excavation. He said the road may have been used to take Priscilla blue stones to Stonehenge. The latest thinking is that they were taken overland. And I'm wondering if this was a prehistoric route before it was straightened out by the Romans, if you like whether the blue stones would have gone across it to the east. It's a real tantalising possibility. And the weather tonight will see widespread clear spells for most of us, but there'll be some rain in the northeast and far south of England. And that's the BBC News at three minutes past eight. This is Joe Wiley. Joe Wiley. BBC Radio 2.